Hello, my name is Mehul Brahmabhat, founder of an international IT company, Matrispace. Today, we are tackling a crucial aspect of a Laravel development, working with the Laravel queues and background processing. Don't worry, we will keep it super simple so you can level up your skills. Let's start with the basics. What are queues? Think of them as uh, your app to-do list. Instead of handling tasks immediately, you add them to the queues to process in the background. It's like having an assistant to handle your uh, course while you focus on more important things. Why use queues? You ask, well, they improve your app's performance and user experience. Tasks that take time like sending email or processing large files can be offloaded to a queue, ensuring a smoother user experience. Setting up a Laravel queue is as easy as pie. Laravel provides a built-in support for our popular queues services like Redis, uh, Beanstalk. You just configure your .env file and you are good to go. Now let's get the fun part, dispatching jobs. Jobs are tasks you want to put it into a queue. Laravel makes it a breeze. You create a job class, define the task and then dispatch it to the queues. It's like writing a to-do list. Uh, to process the jobs in a queues, you need a workers. Workers are like your dedicated assistant. You start with them uh, with the artisan command and they work tirelessly in the background to complete your task. Sometimes things go wrong and jobs fail. Laravel has your back here too. It's uh, It has a built-in way to handle a failure like retrying the job or logging errors. It's like having a safety net for your task. This was a simple guide to working with the Laravel queues and a background processing. Queues help you make your app more responsive and efficient. Remember, you are a queuing task to be handled later, like delegating a work to your assistant. Thank you for joining us today. I will see you in my next video.